This is a set of our VLF voltage with stand device. This is our operating box. This is our supercharger. This is our capacitor. This is the subject. Let me introduce the wiring. First, connect the power cable. Step two, we have this multi-core cable. It's plugged and unplugged. Insert the multi-core cable into this position. Pick up. Connect to the booster here. This is our high voltage output line. The high voltage output line is connected to the subject. The lower end of the capacitor is grounded. Ground the wire grounding. Then ground. All right, I'm going to turn it on and boost it. This is our operations control panel. And the voltage. There is leakage current time. Here is the frequency adjustment. We can switch. We are testing 0 to 1 Hz. And then this time. The test time is adjusted manually. Set 1 for a minute. Then leakage current can be tuned to upper limit of 30. Okay, let's test that out. Point return. Point start. Our voltage is set at 80 kV. Set the voltage at 80 kV. We focus on the output voltage during the boost process. Output voltage position. A good start. Okay, we are in the middle of a pressure boost. We have a curve for this output. It fluctuates. Our voltage is now 68 kV. Now we are at 80 kV. Set 80 kV output, 80 kV. Let's see. The overall layout looks like this. It makes a little hissing discharge sound during the voltage boost. It was a very faint voice. Okay, once we're done testing, his instrument will click a little. Then time stops. The waveform is a sine wave. When the voltage stops, we press stop. And then we print. Print. Here are the results of our tests. Okay, let's shut down after the test.
Power off. Next discharge. The discharge rod is held against the high voltage end. Discharge for one minute. Okay. Test completion.